Good morning, boys and girls. Hi, welcome to the Friedensburg Christian Preschool. Um, I'm Miss Kathy, and I know you know that. And guess what? Miss Jen is with me again today. She's still in the kitchen cutting things out, but she's gonna come over and join us for songs. Can you guess what color it is today? I told you yesterday. It is blue, blue. And in our story yesterday, Mr. Red was actually Mr. Blue, wasn't he? So I hope you have on your blue shirt or blue pants or blue in your hair or blue on your fingers, whatever. I hope you have blue somewhere. There's a lot of things that are blue in our world. But before we get started, let's fold our hands and sing our prayer song. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Ready? Go with us today as we work and play. Help us to be kind and good and do the things we should. Look at me. Hello, hello, and how are you? Hello, hello, I'm glad to see you. I am really glad to see you. I wish you were here with me in person, but I am so glad that you're at home. I have been getting messages from your mommies saying that you are looking at the videos. Last week, um, Wyatt and Ava Wolfgang gave me some answers on what your favorite things were and that was so exciting because some of them were my favorite things. So, and Ava Grace drew me a picture and sent me that and that was, I'm gonna, I'm just so excited when I get things like that. So if you do any of the things like yesterday's apple print, which didn't go real well for Miss Kathy, but if you do those, post them, have mommy post them and I'll post them on our Facebook page so other people can see your wonderful artwork. And don't forget, I will put some links on uh, on the Facebook page, Mommies and Daddies, for some activity sheets if you want to do those with them. And we're going to talk today about something that you can practice at home too. But we're going to get started with the color blue. And the first thing we have to do though, is we have to do our day of the week. That is one thing we have to do. So let me move out of the way here. I have a lot of things on the floor so I can reach them. Oh, I don't know if I can get to my calendar. Can you see it? Am I in the way? I have a cameraman with me today. That's okay? All right. Let's remember the month. Can you say it with me? September. That's right. And today's number is 16. September 16th. And so now we're going to count. Ready? Count with me nice and loud so mommy can hear you from the kitchen. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And let's say the date then. Today is September 16th, 2020. Days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the week has seven days. Yesterday was Tuesday, so today is Wednesday. Very good, Wednesday. I know some of you watch the video at night, so if you're doing this at night and somebody's sleeping like a baby, try to be quiet. But otherwise, you can yell out when you give me my answers, because I know you're out there. Alrighty, so today is September 16th, and we're talking about the color blue. Let's look up here and see what's on our wall for blue. What is this up here, boys and girls? It's a bluebird, bluebird, yes. And there are a couple different types of birds that are blue, bluebird and blue jay and an indigo bunting. And those are all blue birds, but they're all different kinds of bluebirds. So blue, yesterday we talked about what color? Red. So today we're talking about blue. Tomorrow we'll talk about yellow. Remember I said they are all primary colors, Prime. Red, blue, and yellow are our primary colors. So we have to remember that. So today is blue. And we did look at our shape yesterday. Let me move this out of the way. And yesterday's shape was a circle. And today's shape is a square. And the square happens to be blue. Yep. Now they can be other shapes. And I think of blocks when I think of squares. And blocks can be all kinds of shapes. And I got a new block game this year. So when you come to preschool, we're gonna to get to play that one. It helps us to remember our shapes. But this square today is blue. All right. Okay, so we found some blue things. What else can be blue? The, when we color water, when we do water, 
we make it blue, don't we? Yep, water's blue. All right, so that's blue. When we have a beautiful day outside and there's no clouds in the sky, the sky is blue. Mm -hmm. Very good. And let's see, what else is blue? There are some little berries. Blueberries. I love blueberries. Blueberries are blue. Mm -hmm. And what else is blue? Well, that's quite a few blue things right there. So, but blue is a really nice color. I like that color. It's a calming color. They say when, when you're blue, you're calm. But they also say when you're blue, you're sad. But we're not being sad today, so we're not going to count that. All right. What I'd like to do right now, is, before I go any farther, is read a story about blue. And this is one of our favorite stories here. And I know some of you know this story, so you're going to get to help me a little bit. But it's called The Little Blue Truck. Yep, The Little Blue Truck. And it is by Alice Shirt, Shirtler, Shirtler, Alice Shirtler. I'm trying to tell you the authors this year because it's important to know the authors and the author is the person who writes the book. And she wrote The Little Blue Truck. So are you ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give them a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Little Blue Truck. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sound you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road, beep, said Blue to the big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said ba, cow said moo, oi, said piggy, beep said Blue. They're all talking to him as he drives down the road. Cluck, said the chicken, and her chick said, beep. Ma, said a goat. Blue said, beep. Nay, said a horse. Quack, said the duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. They all like him. Honk, yelled a dump truck, coming through. I have big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Oh my goodness, he almost ran over duck. Vroom went the dump around a curve and he saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in the muck and the mire. Honk, cried the dump, and he sounded scared. But nobody heard, or nobody cared. Look, they're all turning their backs to him because he was so mean to them. Like, hmm, not sure if we really like you, dump. But then, into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Oh. But now Blue and Dump were both stuck tight. Uh-oh, he tried to help, but he got stuck, didn't he? Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that, beep, beep, beep. And the cow came running with the pig and the sheep. They heard little Blue, here they come. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck and everybody pushed the little blue truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed blue, who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load and then who hopped up but the big green toad. And all together, one, two, three, one last push and the trucks were free. There they are, they got out, yay! Thanks, little brother, said Dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. He saw that he would have been stuck if little Blue and his friends didn't come to help. Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? And everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, bah. Moo, cluck, peep, nay, croak, maw. 
What's little blue say? Ready, everybody? B, B, B. And there they go. So, little blue is no longer little blue, though. He's covered with what? Mud. And what color is mud? Brown, that's right. We'll talk about brown maybe next week. But little blue, he was a good guy. And he helped Dump, and Dump learned that you got to be nice and have friends because you might need them. Yep. So that's our story today. And we're going to talk about some blue things. So I have an activity sheet here. And then I think we'll sing a couple songs. We have an activity sheet, and I'm going to have this posted so that Mommy can print them off. But this is an activity sheet for the color blue. All right, and the directions, because we're going to start doing these at preschool, say color and trace. So this word here is blue. So you're going to use what color? Blue. And this is my blue crayon. And the first thing you're going to do is color in the blue. And it looks like a paint drop here. And if you want to, there is the crayon up above. You could color the crayon blue, just like Miss Kathy's doing here. Right? And this helps you to remember the color blue. And then we look down here and it says, what is blue? Color the things that are blue. Well, this is a blue bird. So should we color it? Yes, we should. So we're going to color him. And if you want to, you can use your other colors to make his beak and his feet different colors. But I'm going to just make him all blue because that's all I have with me. And then this is one of those berries I said I like. What color? Blue. It's a blue berry. So I'm going to color my berry blue. So now you know two things that are blue. And then the last directions say draw with blue. Oh, what can we draw that's blue? Well, we talked about it. We already did a bird and a blueberry. We talked about the sky. We talked about the water. I'm going to make an ocean. And this is going to lead us into something else here soon. But I'm going to make an ocean, and the ocean goes up and down. Sometimes it's smooth, but it goes up and down. And so I'm practicing making my up and down lines with my crayon, which is important. So I made the blue ocean. All right. So if Mommy prints that off for you, you can do that. Or you can just draw a picture of blue. Right? All righty. I think it's time to sing some songs and move a little bit. Let's see if Miss Jen can come over from the kitchen. Because we have one blue song that we would like to teach you. We'll do it sitting down. You can do this one sitting down, and I know some of you know this. Can you show me three fingers? Hi, Miss Jen. Hi. Hi, boys and girls. What, what color shirt does Miss Jen have on? Blue. She wore her blue shirt today. That's right. Very good. So you have to remember, blue. All right. Show me three fingers. All right. This song is about three blue pigeons. Blue pigeons, and some pigeons are blue. They're a, a, like a grayish blue, but they're blue. And pigeons, pigeons don't do a whole lot. They usually just sit around. Sometimes they fly, but they're not real excited, exciting birds. They're very calm most of the time. There is a there's some stories about a pigeon, though. Um, I don't have any of those pigeon books, but I bet you have them at home. And I know there's one where he drives a bus. Never saw that, but you know, books can be make-believe. Anyway, show me three. All right, this song is called Three Blue Pigeons. Are you ready? And let's see if you can remember it or learn it. Here we go. Three blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Three blue pigeons sitting on a wall. One flies away. How many's left? Two, right. Two blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Two blue pigeons sitting on a wall. One flies away. How many's left? One. Right. Ready? One blue pigeon sitting on a wall. One blue pigeon sitting on a wall. He flies away. How many's left? None. No blue pigeons sitting on a wall. No blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Ah, but here comes one back. How many came back? One. One blue pigeon sitting on a wall. One blue pigeon sitting on a wall. Here comes one of his buddies. How many's back? Two. Two. 
Two blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Two blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Thank you for answering there, Miss Jen. <laughs> and here comes the last one. How many's back now? Three. Three blue pigeons sitting on a wall. Three blue pigeons sitting on a wall. And that's the end of the blue pigeon song. But it's a good one. I like that one. That is the only blue song we have. So we're going to sing one of our red songs from yesterday. Which one do you want to sing? Traffic light. I like the traffic light one too. All right, everybody get up off the couch, off the floor, stand up. You need this one as you have to stand up. Here we go. We sing it twice now. Ready? Always watch the traffic light, the traffic light, the traffic light. Green means go, yellow means slow, and red means stop, stop, stop. Always watch the traffic light, the traffic light, the traffic light. Green means go, yellow means slow, and red means stop, stop, stop. Good. Now last week, uh, we sang head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and we did that yesterday. But we also sang last week, if you're happy and you know it. So is that okay? Sure, yeah. All right, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stomp, stomp, amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stomp, stomp, amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stomp, stomp, amen. All right. Thanks, Miss Jen. You're welcome. All right. She's going to go back to the kitchen and still work on her work. And I'm going to teach you something that you can practice at home, which you're going to need to do. First thing I want you to do is you should still all be standing up. Everybody should be standing. And I want you to take your pointer finger. This is a pointer finger. You know, we never did sing the finger song, but this is a pointer finger, and maybe we'll sing that tomorrow. Take your pointer finger. I want you to put it straight up in the air. Can you see me? Okay. And I want you to bring it straight down. You just made a line, a straight line. Up in the air, down. Up in the air, down. One more time. Up in the air, down. Now I want you to take your pointer finger and start over to the side and go across. You made a straight line this way. Go across. One more time. Go across. Now I want you to take that finger and make like the circle shape that we did. Make it go around. Make a big circle. Make a small circle. Make a big circle. Make a small circle. All right. Now, when you get time, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. I want you to either take a piece of paper or a whiteboard or a chalkboard and whatever you can draw on those things. Get them ready. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. I'm going to use my little whiteboard. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker. And what color am I using? I'm using blue today. And I'm going to start up here at the top of my whiteboard. And I'm going to draw a straight line down. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Let's count how many straight lines Miss Kathy drew. One, two, three, four, five. I hope you counted with me. Those are five straight lines going from the top to the bottom, just like rain, right? Then I'm going to take my wiper, wipe those all off. And if you have paper and you're doing this on, well, now you're going to need another piece of paper. But if you have a whiteboard like I do, then you can wipe it off, right? Get ready. Now we're going to go from side to side, and we're going to make five straight lines. Here we go. 
One, and I'm going to do the best I can because I'm doing it upside down. Two, three, four, five. Five straight lines going across. Did you notice how I held my marker? I used my pointer finger to hold the top, my thumb on the side, and I rested on my tall man finger. And that's how you hold it. Don't hold it like caveman. We hold it like this so that we have more control. And we hold it near the bottom, not at the top. And the reason we're talking about this is because, first of all, my marker is blue. But the other reason is we're going to start writing our names. And we need to practice. And making lines is part of making our name. So now, if you have a whiteboard, clean it off because we're going to do one more. If you have a piece of paper, find yourself another piece of paper. Still using blue today because it's blue day. And now, sometimes when we write our name, we don't have just straight lines, do we? No, our alphabet has some curvy lines. Yes, they do. They have curvy lines. So we need to learn how to make curvy lines. And one of the best curvy lines is making a circle. So I'm going to make some circles, five of them. And I'm not real great at making circles, but I try. And that's all I want you to try right now. So make five circles. There's two, three, and they can be all kinds of sizes. Four, and I'll make a big one. Five, and it almost looks like an oval. There we go. Five circles. The more you practice this, the better we'll get at writing our name. All right? So that's something I want you to practice at home. And when we have a chance, we're going to then start doing some more of that every day. All right? Now, when you're all done, you put your lid back on your marker if you use a marker. Otherwise, what happens? They dry out. And you know, wipe off your board. Or if you're using paper, you can keep them and reuse the other side. Right? So my board is clean. Right. Very good. Okay. Well, boys and girls, that is all for today. We talked about blue today. And we sang some blue songs. And we had our blue story about the little blue truck. Right? And I have some paperwork that you can do, some fun things that way. And if you can think of anything else that is blue, you can draw me flowers and have mommy post them on Facebook. We do need to talk about what tomorrow's color is. Yellow. Tomorrow's color is yellow. Remember we talked about primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. So we're doing primary colors this week. Yellow is tomorrow's color. So you need to wear your yellow. And yellow is kind of tricky. You will see when I have my yellow shirt on tomorrow, it's a little different color yellow. I don't have many yellow shirts. And I want you to think about what is yellow so that we can do that. And we have another game tomorrow where we're going to talk about yellow and maybe some of the other colors, all right? All right, so fold your hands, please. Bow your heads and listen. Dear Lord, thank you for the blue color we're learning about today and help us to remember the red one and all the colors we're learning. Help us to remember to practice writing and be with us always, Lord. Amen. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye, so just smile and wink your eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Bye-bye, boys and girls. I'll see you tomorrow. Yellow.